I'm Nancy and welcome to my car. I am heading out to the old sugar mill today and it's a favorite haunt to a lot of Sacramentians uh, as it is one of our closest winery and it's a great little place to hang out with friends and grab a, a cup of good wine to wind down. <laughs> uh, so I just delivered keys to a new um, homeowner, yay, out in Rio Linda today. And uh, I thought of something to mention about seller credit. And seller credit is an amount which the seller has agreed to credit the buyer for reasons uh, due to a renegotiation of the contract or pre-negotiated uh, before the uh, purchase contract was accepted. Sometimes the seller credit is greater than the closing cost so you end up with a little extra. So what can you do with it? And you can apply that towards a, a home warranty or uh, extra insurance if you have enough time to resubmit to underwriting with a lender. Uh, you can use that money sometimes to buy down your interest rate if there's enough left over. So in our case with this new homeowner, we had a, um, an $8,000 credit and our closing cost was seven. So we had $1,000 left over in our budget and we decided to apply that to her home warranty. So her home was now really well protected for the next two years. So just an idea and suggestion for both home buyers and other agents if you're representing buyers as to what you can do if there happens to be a little bit extra left in the on the table per se and then you can use all of it and not feel like you left anything behind all right talk to you guys next time bye